Sheen Shots. Yeah, boy. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to the Sheen Shots channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all the endgame bosses you can find in the Chersonese area. There are three unique bosses in this region of Outward and sort of a bonus enemy as well. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video so you can see this mysterious warrior. The first boss in Chersonese is known as the Troglodyte Queen, and boy is she tough. You will need to take two jewel meat all the way to the altar in Blister Burrow. This cave is located directly above Sierzo, and the altar is in the center of the cave. Very hard to miss, in fact. Getting two jewel bird meat to that location can be difficult, since you can really only find this delicacy in the Abrasar Desert. The preservation backpack is very helpful since the meat must be raw and will not rot as fast in that bag. If you did not get that backpack, however, just buy yourself an alchemist backpack from shopkeeper Sewell in Levant. Kill jewel birds on your way out of the desert and make that long journey to the queen statue. Once in the fight itself, you will be met with a bit of a surprise. There are multiple enemies here. You'll be fighting one trog queen, two elite mana trogs, two elite armored trogs, and two elite grenader trogs. Yeah, this fight is pretty tough. You will need extremely high poison or decay resistance so that the grenaders don't just instantly kill you. It is also nice to have physical protection and resistance since the majority of the attacks are physical attacks. Your best play here is to kill the green trogs as quickly as possible and then move to the mana trogs since they will heal the entire group constantly. If you're not worried about the poison, then by all means go get that mana trog first. They are pretty good healers and should be dealt with quickly. Kite the trogs you wish to kill away from the queen since she has a wide area of attack. Once all the smaller trogs are dealt with, move on to the queen. Her primary attack is a swing from the giant staff she's holding. She also summons four green balls of death that don't feel too great. Blocks work well against the physical attacks and running in a circle around the queen will keep you away from the green death balls. The last thing to note about this boss is that she has a MASSIVE heal mechanic. Stop attacking her for too long, and she gets most of her health back. So if she ever looks to be making a slow cast of magic, you know you need to attack quickly, or lose all your hard work. Do not attack this boss with decay damage, as she is very resistant to it. Do use lightning attacks, since she has a negative 40% weakness to it. You will probably need to fight her a few times, since dealing with groups of enemies is difficult in Outward. But using armor with high decay resistance will make it much easier. Oh, and you only need that jewel bird meat once. It will not be required to fight her a second time. The second boss in the Chersonese region is known as the Brand Squire, and can be unlocked by bringing the unique sword Brand back to the top of the complex mountain. Have the sword in your inventory the first time you enter the area, and touch the rock you originally found the strange rusted sword in. You will be teleported to the arena with, luckily, only one enemy. This boss is probably one of the easier of the unique bosses, since he is a mere human. He is still dangerous though, and unfortunately resistant to most elements. Decay is his weakness though, so be aware of that. His weapon is brand, so it does cold and physical damage. Getting hit too many times will inflict you with pain and chill, so try to avoid taking unnecessary hits. The Squire has three main attacks. His first is a fast swipe across about 15 feet, similar to Perfect Strike. He also likes to kick a firewall at you that does inflict burning. He also has a weird decay fog that he will send at you. This will heal him and do decay damage to you, so don't get hit by it. Blocking once again works great here, and the firewall is easy to dodge as long as you just move or dodge to the side. Hitting the squire with high knockback weapons is great, but mages can also do great damage from afar. Just avoid attacks and you will not have an issue with this boss. He has a very limited number of mechanics and can be dealt with rather nicely. The last unique boss in Chersonese region is known as the Elite Mantis Shrimp, and can be found inside the Voltaic Catchery. Just bring 5 Gold Lich Mechanisms to the Giant Lightning Ball as a one-time payment and you are in. Any element will work against this enemy except Lightning, and Cold Damage is what he's weak to. The Elite Mantis Shrimp is similar to a regular shrimp. He has a long-range Lightning Ball as well as a short-range Lightning Blast. Avoiding both is best since they deal some significant damage. He also swings at you with his shrimpy arms, so hitting fast and hard is your best bet here. Close range characters need to do high damage quickly in order to knock the shrimp down and kill him fast. Long range characters will mainly need to dodge the lightning ball attacks, since they are more frequent the further away you get. Wearing lightning resistant armor for this guy is also never a bad idea. So those are all the unique bosses in the Chersonese area, but there is a unique enemy that should also be mentioned. None of these bosses can be found or fought unless you complete your faction quest. 
This enemy is no different. His name is the blank question mark we don't really know? Or so-called Concealed Knight. Some might also mention him as the Sar Warrior. No matter what you call him, he is a tanky beast. Inside of Sierzo, you can head to the end of the dock and choose to enter a small rowboat. This boat will take you back to the location where you started the game out. It is a pretty cool flashback of where you started, but a dangerous enemy is waiting for you. This is the Sar Warrior. He has high damage physical attacks and is completely immune to fire. Honestly, not too difficult if you understand how to block and dodge, but very, very cool fight. Definitely head over to this boss once you complete your faction quest and face off against this demonic enemy. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you don't mind subscribing, go ahead and thanks to all of you who support the channel. Keep being awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.